So Russia has unveiled a new fighter jet with the intention of eventually selling it to the rest of the world. People are calling it a direct competitor to the American F-35. NBC News reporter Matt Bodner was the first Western journalist able to actually see that jet in person. Matt, what did you see? Morgan, hey, so brand new Russian stealth fighter jet. Uh, as you mentioned, they really wanted to compete with the F-35. They're calling it the Su-75, but it also has another name, Checkmate. It's something we've heard used far more than that 75 designation. Let's take a closer look. Russia's Max Air Show, held every two years at an old flight test center outside of Moscow, is more than just a chance for Russian pilots to show off their skills. It's an important forum for Russia's aerospace industry to entice foreign buyers and to impress the boss with their latest creations. This year, aircraft manufacturer Sukhoi had a big announcement, a design for a brand new stealth fighter jet. So here we are, been waiting for this all day. You know, aircraft take a very, very long time to develop. So we were kind of surprised to hear Russia at this year's Max Air Show was going to drop a completely new one that we had heard almost nothing about previously. Here it is. Let's talk about this aircraft. Obviously, it's a very modern design. It's very sleek. It has all the hallmarks of what you call a fifth-generation fighter aircraft. And that really boils down to, in layman's terms, a stealth aircraft. It's sleek, deflects radar. But what sets this apart from other uh, fifth-generation aircraft that we're seeing now is it has this very modern design feature in the back. And I actually am struggling to think of an aircraft, of a fighter jet aircraft that's actually in service, that has a similar design feature. And that is the lack of a of a rear elevator. We've all seen these on the back of the plane that kind of help it go up and down. One of the interesting things about the Su-75 is that it seems largely designed with export in mind. In, in fact, it's being directly pitched to traditional buyers of Russian aircraft all over the world. And if it were not already clear from the name, Checkmate, it is being specifically pitched to countries that want something that can compete with the latest Western stealth aircraft, such as the F-35. So I've actually been invited for uh, an exclusive closer look at the cockpit of this new Russian stealth fighter. No one else has seen it, uh, at least from the Western press. We're not allowed to actually show you the cockpit, but I'm going to step inside, tell you a little bit about what I see. So here we go. So actually, there seems to have been a, a, a fair bit of discussion about whether or not I, a Western journalist, should be allowed to sit in this cockpit. Obviously, here I am, so uh, things uh, went in my favor, but I can I think I can understand the concern. This thing is essentially based on the Su-57. It's Russia's larger, slightly older stealth fighter, an analog to the American F-22. And I have to imagine that what I'm looking at now is probably very similar to the Su-57 cockpit. This is a prototype model aircraft. I mean, this will not fly, but I mean, this looks to me like this is not just so, like a, some static display. These are touchscreen glass panels here with all, you know, basically all the avionics and flight information and navigation system here, settings and stuff. So again, uh, it's very early days on this thing. Um, it's about a year into development. Uh, they say it's got another two years to go, but I think, as we've seen with other stealth fighter programs around the world, it might be a little bit longer than that. Well, Morgan, Checkmate would not actually be the first time that Russia has kind of used a name to, to troll Western stealth aircraft a little bit. Actually, the Su-57, uh, Checkmate's older, bigger stealth brother, that's the, the 57 is actually its second or third designation, and of course, 57 they finally settled on, apparently because that's 22 plus 35. Those are the Western stealth aircraft. Anyway, back to you. All right, Matt Bonnevers there in Moscow. Matt, thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.